Hey, uh, what are you doing? What's up? Put on these uh, TDMI brakes here. We got a large brake kit for the uh, for the front end here of the FRS. Wait, are you saying you're putting on a full floating rotor with a larger diameter than usual, a lighter and six piston caliper, with this variety of tools here? <laughs> I sure am. Come on. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, so this is a 10 millimeter Allen that will be used for the new um, caliber mounting bolts here. Uh, this will be a 12 millimeter wrench to take off the brake hose. This is a 14 millimeter wrench to take off the cal the factory calibers, and these are some sockets that match all this, so I can do it quickly. Sweet. Let's get into it. Cool. We have an extended hub here with the extended lug nuts. So I'm gonna bust that off before we do anything. These are all the tools that we need for this whole thing. Yeah, you can do this pretty quickly. Adventures. We're off. We're at, we're at, we're we're gaining access. We're getting in there. Okay. So What's next? I'm gonna take off this brake hose because I'll forget if I don't do that now. The one right on the back side here. Mm -hmm. Bolts right to the strut. Okay, yeah, ten mils gone. Uh, adventures. Neat. <laughs> I'm gonna put this here so I don't lose it. Hey, that's a good a good tactic. Top tip: always thread the stuff back in the space so you don't accidentally kick the bolts across the uh, across the shop. What are we doing now? Now I'm gonna take off the caliber. That's that 14. 14 millimeter. Heck yeah! Look at it, just by hand. What is, have you seen how strong this guy is? Look at the muscles on this dude. Oh my god. <laughs> cool. Now we've got the benefit of these really big brake hoses that we can set this down on the ground without too much tension. If you don't have those big brake hoses, best to use like a little hanger to hang that hang your caliper up for now. Cool, where are we at? 17 millimeter to take off the uh, caliper's anchor here. Here, let's take a look back here. Could I just use a wrench for this too? You could. Yeah. I'm just looking to do this a little bit faster. Ta -da. Ta -da. And then the rotor comes right off. Yo, look look at the strength of this dude. Just right. tear the brakes off a car by hand. You want to compare it to the size dude, of the it, new one? To the this old is one? huge. Now this is what's called a full floating rotor. So it actually has um, uh, two pieces. It's got our top hat and our rotor surface, and they float on these bolts. This is a one piece. And so uh, this will give us a, a, a greater heat range, I believe. Additionally though, check out this diameter here. This has a far larger diameter and people are like, well, the diameter is gonna improve my braking. It does so in two ways. Uh, the further it is away from the center here, the better the leverage of the brake. But also we have more surface area to dis dissipate heat over. So these will take uh, a lot longer to heat up than these will. They're a little bit thicker too. They're thicker. We even have um, reliefs here to allow some of the brake material or air to get, to escape down there and a wider gap here so that we can keep these cooler for a longer period of time. Less less uh, brake fade when on the track. Pretty neat. Cool, what's next here, champ? All right, let's do the install. Because now we just have our hub, our knuckle. It's naked. It is. If anybody wants to see uh, naked what hub. we got going on here. So we've got our two mounting tabs here for our, our uh, knuckle and then we've got our bearing. That's a nice bearing there, wouldn't you say? Ooh, wee. All right, take the flashy rotor. Look at that. Put it on. What a professional, just slides it in first try. Now I'm gonna put this on too so that the uh, rotor stays nice and flush while dun, dun. I'm doing the rest of the install here. Now his fingers are so strong he can torque these down just by hand. I usually just have to sneeze and it happens on the first try. I mean, every time I sneeze, it usually happens in pairs. Hmm. That happen to you, you should eat more bananas then. Really? Is that a thing? I love bananas. Well, then you'd have less pears. These will be properly torqued after everything's set. Um, and I can, you know, have uh, someone on the brake pedal holding it and we'll be able to torque it down properly. But for now, uh, the rotor's on there. It spins nicely. Let's go put the caliber on. So here's our fancy caliber. Wait, wait, who makes this again? TDMI. Dun, 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 dun. And for those who don't know, if you know what JDM is, if you can guess what the T is, 
it's Taiwan. So it's a Taiwan domestic market imports. Heck yeah. Sweet. So we got our supplied Allen bolts. We'll go home and slide this in. It's already pre-greased from TDMI, so there's no need to put on any brake grease. It's even got the pads in there, ready to go. It's all loaded, ready to go. And TDMI offers three different ranges of brake pads. You can get a street version, uh, which is similar to the OE pads. Uh, you can get a track version, uh, which is similar to the street. However, um, it has a uh, higher heat. It's got a higher heat range, yeah. Higher heat range. And then they have a full like pro pad, and um, it takes a lot of heat to get those to work. So mm -hmm. we chose to go with just the track package as a drift car will make heat, um, but not as, as much heat as the uh, the pro pads would. Now, I think one of the benefits for us running this is we actually have, even though this is a bigger brake, it, it's actually lighter for us. So we've got, um, our, our wheel is able to return the, the ground quicker because it's got less momentum when it goes over a bump. So we'll get better grip out of this car now with, li with lighter brakes. Yeah, it's unsprung weight, so less, less weight here. Heck yeah. What are we doing now? I'm gonna tighten up these 10 millimeter Allens. One there, one here. Cool, is there anything left? The only thing that's gonna be left is the, uh, just hooking the brake line up to the uh, brake hose. Um, but that's fairly simple and it, it's gonna take us some time and some pumps with the brakes and stuff. So uh, this was just more of a, an informational video on how to install this. Out of curiosity, how long did this take us to upgrade the braking on your car? It, it was barely quick. <laughs> yeah. So it's a really easy install. Uh, it's only a couple of bolts, some minimal tools, and you've got way better braking on your car. I can't wait to see how this feels on track. Heck yeah. It's going to be awesome. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, TDMI.